Uh, next topic. Wayne Brady recently came out as pansexual. He said to me, pan means being able to be attracted to anyone who identifies as gay, straight, bi, transsexual, or non-binary. Does this news surprise you, Al? I don't think it's a big surprise. You know, these rumors have been swirling around Hollywood for a number of years. And also him coming out has been swirling around Hollywood these last couple of months. I'm so proud of Wayne Brady for stepping into this space because I've been there. And, 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 and the best part is it's not about what we think. It's about his journey. It's about how he feel. And it's about his obstacles that he's got to overcome with his sexuality. Now, I'm not trying to be funny, but I am in a way, but I'm being real. The only thing I hope is that he doesn't step out with a white man. And is that like being too selfish? Because, um, you know, we see that trend, especially with our super successful um, black entertainers. Um, other than that, you know, I support him and good luck. I don't think it's going to going to affect his business in any way. The people that support Wayne Brady support Wayne Brady for who he is, because he's just that type of guy. And if I'm honest, I think he's pretty handsome. Are you shooting your shot? <laughs> he's very rich. I know that's your time. You like them rich ones now. <laughs> Wayne Brady, if you're watching, Al oh. Ryan would uh, like to go to press stations with you in L.A. Oh, that's funny. Imagine that. Q, can you he see him with uh, Wayne Brady? Al and I, I, believe it or not, I actually could see Wayne Brady and Al Reynolds together. Al, they've got the personality type that look like it would probably match and Al would be running all the business affairs and all the brand deals. And um, yeah, I could see it happen. But to Al's point, I, I, I do kind of hope in this situation, he don't pop out with no damn white white man either, but it, it, it gives me that's what's going to happen. It's gonna happen. It really <laughs> gives me like at the award show when he goes to do his big, you know, you know, reveal in this area of his life, then it's going to be all young, you know, Malibu Barbie Ken type of white boy too, whatever the case may be. But me, or I mean, this didn't even hit like a big reveal. Like, this hit like a girl, okay. <laughs> like, because it's giving a child we been new tease. It's just giving like a... And, and, and as a gay, as a resident car-holding gay, <laughs> I hate to be as ignorant and say as ignorant of a thing that I'm about to say. But girl, you was too engulfed in the Broadway and the singing and the dancing and the theater and the plays to not be a part of the community, girl. We been knew you was a part of the community, Miss Wayne. So come on in. The church, the, the doors of the church is open. And we just hope that now that you use this pansexual situation for whatever it is you use it for, that you start doing some advocacy work within the community with your platform. And don't be one of those gays that just came out because you're trying to protect yourself from extortion, but then you want to sweep your gayness under the rug or your pansexualness under the rug because you you know still don't want your Hollywood friends to look at you weird. You're a part of the community now. You want us to accept you. We need you to now start doing some work. You know, on one hand, I'm like, okay, that's cool. I mean, I don't know how this, we need this information. Who cares? Like, it's none of our business, right? And I also think, damn, I wish you were just like, if you're going to come out, come out and be like, bam, I'm bisexual. What? I'm standing behind. I feel like pan is kind of a way to like soften the blow a little bit. Like, I agree. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, mm, is that really groundbreaking? Because a lot of us don't even know what the fuck that means for real, for real. You know, the average person that doesn't talk about this all the time, right? It's like, what? Okay. And I feel like he could have made a bigger impact to say I'm gay or I'm pan or I'm bisexual. Party, is Janelle, Janelle going? Is I'm Janelle? Gonna, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say I do want to make one point um, because a lot of people make the comment that you made. This is information we don't need to know. You know, everybody likes to do this whole throw your hand up. This is information we don't need to know. I want to say this though, Claudia. That comes from a place of privilege, right? Because you organically and naturally are treated as a heterosexual woman. People automatically assume when you walk through a door, you're a heterosexual woman and you're treated as such. People's sexual orientation, there is a reason for it to come out, okay? And it's as simple as this, Claudia. We're co-workers. We're at a dinner party. I don't want you trying to hook me up with your sister. You see what I'm saying? I don't want you trying to hook me up with your, your, your neighbor next door. So there are social implications and reasons why it is kind of important why people do know which way you swing. Hmm. 
I guess. <laughs> hey, y'all, just so y'all know I'm straight. <laughs> I don't know. Hey, we have a comment. Uh, Tricky said pansexuals are about vibes and connections. Love is love. So it's more of a soul thing, I guess. It's an energy thing. Is that the difference? Or is it that I don't want to say bisexual? Listen, I can't take on any more letters. Or I mean, either. It's the whole. So I, I don't even have the mental bandwidth at this point to explain that or, or understand that. Yeah. Girl, don't, you don't even try it either. Just go to commercial channel. Oh, I'm not. I'm done. I'm moving on. <laughs> I'm moving on my straight privileged self. All right.